F change that was uh, statistically significant. So the F change was associated with 32.36. We added one variable to in the second block, and we can see that in the model that includes all four variables, hotness is in fact a statistically significant predictor. Uh, in, in some sense, whether you wanted to look at uh, the uh, F change or not, whether you just wanted to look at the beta weights to see if hotness was a statistically significant contributor, I suppose maybe you could do that, but most people uh, report uh, all aspects of the hierarchical multiple regression. They want to see the percentage change, uh, and they want to see the F value associated with that, and then they also want to see all the beta weights. And we can see that in a full model that includes all four variables, um, helpfulness, clarity, and hotness are all statistically significant predictors because their significance values are less than 0 0.05, but easiness is not a statistically significant unique contributor to the model, even though it is a statistically significant correlate with um, the dependent variable overall unit quality, easiness. 0.143, and that was actually statistically significant, 0 0.002. Even if we looked at a two-tailed test, it would still be significant. But in this case here, it's not. But the crucial point is that hotness is, in fact, a unique incremental predictor of the dependent variable. And that's true based on the F change, which is statistically significant, and the beta weight, which is also statistically significant. So that's how you perform and interpret a hierarchical multiple regression in SPSS. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you next time.